death toll. We were first told it was 700. Then that changed to 1,000. Now it is up to 1,453. How did that happen? Well, companies, uh, countries started adding up the number of people that had died. Iran said, well, we had 465 die. The Egyptians said, we had 148, and so on and so on. And pretty soon, it was obvious to everybody that Saudi Arabia was lying. And of course, this is something that has happened time and time again. Just before the Hajj, they had a massive construction disaster that killed several hundred. As they were talking about the mass numbers of people that had died, this stoning of Satan ceremony has resulted in hundreds or thousands of people dying on multiple occasions. And the Saudi Arabian government knows this, but they do nothing to stop it. How did they respond to this particular one? Look at these pictures of how they treated their own people, their own Muslims. The scoops are on the way. They actually sent out bulldozers to scoop the bodies up and pile them in mass heaps. And now they're talking about beheading 28 Muslims that they're going to make the scapegoats. After the uh, ceremony where these people died, the stoning of Satan, now they're going to have a scapegoating ceremony where they're going to behead 28 people because of this not blaming the Saudi officials, but blaming some other people for this. This is the government that is our ally in the area. Now, we go from the scoops on the way from Soylent Green to Green Poop. Look at this story here. The Whopper Burger, the new black bun that they're putting out for Halloween, actually turns your poop bright green. They say it's a vivid neon green, almost a grass green. What was people's reaction to this? Well, they say uh, Twitter was talking about it, so I thought, well, now I've got to go try it. That's the idiocy that we're up against. On the same day, we see that over 40 rodent feeding studies show how GM food is disastrous to your health. It can increase your intestinal infections, high cholesterol, birth defects, weight increase, higher incidence of mortality, organ pathologies, all of these things. And yet, people don't get that message. And they don't understand that the Trans-Pacific Partnership is going to be used to stop any bans of GMO, to even stop the information about GMO. Stay with us. When we come back, we're going to talk about the corruption in our capital. We'll be right back. I might as well just... an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life vitamin B12 formulation. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. There have been a lot of amazing developments in the last day on the speaker's race, the race to replace Boehner, who said he was going to resign. It's a tale of corruption, it's a tale of political backstabbing, and it's a tale of the continuous imperious actions of John Boehner. But first, what happened? As we reported yesterday in the morning, uh, everybody thought that Kevin McCarthy, the number two was a shoe-in, that he had clinched the position. And then when the meeting began, as the leading candidate, according to the establishment, he stood up and said, I'm withdrawing from the candidacy. At that point, John Boehner closed it, shut it down, and there were multiple reports that people were crying, perhaps John Boehner. Let's look at what happened. They say he faced opposition from conservatives itching to use hardball tactics against President Obama. Yes, that's precisely what we need, not just hardball tactics, but stand up for what you got elected to do. That's precisely what we haven't seen from the GOP leadership. That's why there's a rebellion. This is the Wall Street Journal. They say his withdrawal, that is Kevin McCarthy's withdrawal, leaves a vacuum that Republicans were scrambling to fill. Paul Ryan declined for a second time on Thursday. They say he's really the only one who can do the job, says another Republican from California. Most of the members know that that's really our only path forward at this point. Really? Let's think about that. You had an election, you had three declared candidates. The one that the speaker wanted dropped out. So he immediately stopped the election and said, I'll stay here for as long as it takes until I get somebody that I like. That's the kind of imperious dictatorship that the conservatives are rebelling against. The House Freedom Caucus had said that they were going to support Daniel Webster. That's a block of 40 votes. Those are the people who have been trying to stand up to these terrorist tactics from John Boehner. Anyone who doesn't toe his line is immediately dismissed from committees or from subcommittees. Mark Meadows, the man who introduced the motion to vacate the chair to have Boehner leave his position, Mark Meadows was thrown off of a subcommittee because he did not support the Trade uh, Promotion Authority, which would fast track the Trans-Pacific, the Transatlantic Partnership Agreements. He was thrown off of his committee. He was thrown off by the other person who is still in the race, Jason Chaffetz. Now Chaffetz said, I learned from that, I reinstalled him. But the reality is, is that the other committee members had the power to reinstall him themselves if a majority of them wanted him in there. And so that would have just made Chaffetz look bad. He did it as a face-saving method. And it shows that he is cut of the same cloth as John Boehner. He's talked about having a new face, and that's precisely what McCarthy says. He says we need a new face here. Is he really going to be a new face, or is he going to be more of the same? They say if Mr. Ryan sticks to his decision not to run, lawmakers said that they expected John Boehner to remain in his post beyond his intended October the 30th resignation, possibly through the end of the year. Well, I think it's time for another motion to vacate the chair to be reintroduced. Remember, everybody laughed about that, said, oh, that's nothing, that's just coming from some radical conservatives They have no chance of getting that put through. And yet, they realized that they were perilously close from losing that election. They stopped the vote, 
They said, we'll pick this up when we come back from recess. They were not able to get the votes when they came back from recess, so then he abruptly resigned after meeting the Pope. Now, what happened is also something that, is, that concerns a lot of people who are concerned about law enforcement's role, the corruption in law enforcement. We've seen multiple occasions now in just the last couple of weeks of both Chaffetz and McCarthy, two people who are high up in the Republican Party leadership, people who are running for the speakership, being outed by the law enforcement uh, people implying that they had done things that they should be afraid of. Now, in this particular instance, they are Huffington Post is looking at an email that came from an activist in Chicago, Steve Baer. He sent an email to Kevin McCarthy and multiple congressmen saying, why don't you just resign like Bob Livingston? Now, was that what caused him to resign? Or was it the implications, and of course he implied that there was an affair going on between him and a congresswoman, Renee Elmers from North Carolina, but at the same time, we know that these allegations go all the way back to January. There's a website called Got News that exposed that back in uh, January. He was thrown off of Twitter, uh, the person who runs that, Charles Johnson. He is now, according to Huffington Post, taking victory laps for breaking that. And we have this development. If there's nothing to it, uh, it's interesting that Renee Elmer's attorney has sent a cease and desist letter to GotNews.com telling them to be quiet about an alleged McCarthy-Elmers affair. Yesterday, we saw Congressman Walter Jones grilled by Fox News' uh, uh, Shepard Smith saying, what did you know about this? This is a clip from that. The big battle is going to be in the House and in the Senate. And uh, right now, we have the battle going for a Speaker of the House. And it's interesting that Daryl Issa is one of the key people running for Speaker of the House. And uh, that's significant in this particular battle and on many others, because although he has a reputation as being a conservative Republican, uh, he is a member of the Transatlantic Policy Network, which is run by the aforementioned Peter Sutherland, the grandmaster of the Bilderberg uh, trilateral uh, internationalist uh, Goldman Sachs agenda. He really is so, the new David Rockefeller, isn't he? Yes. And uh, I mean, uh, as we pointed out earlier, he is also not only promoting the TPP and the TTIP, but also the big refugee swarm into Europe after having helped uh, bring together the whole borderless Europe program while he was working as the uh, president of the European Commission. Lower the borders, blow up the Middle East, North Africa, bring in the hordes. Right. So, so he is a key operative there. And Daryl Issa, whether he gets the speakership or not, is going to be, it's just one of, in our special uh, report that we did on the Transatlantic Policy Network, we listed all the senators. Uh, that's called uh, the, our special uh, article, Trading Away Their Oaths. We pointed out all the senators, such as Thad Cochran, Mark Kirk, Barbara Mikulski, Pat Roberts, Roger Wicker, that are members of the TPN. And then we listed the, um, the House members as well. They're all going to be critical votes. And a lot of people think that some of these uh, representatives, because they are conservative Republicans, quote unquote, are going to be uh, reliable votes on this, uh, need to realize that many of them have been bought off, bribed off, or, or in, in one way or another influenced to jump on board this sovereignty-destroying, independence-destroying, globalist Program sure, and the media is acting like only socialists don't like it, and it's a leftist issue because Bernie Sanders is against it. Absolutely. But Bernie Sanders, uh, of course, could flip just as he did on the Federal Reserve bill and sabotage the audit of the Federal Reserve after Ron Paul got a, a good one through the House. Bernie Sanders sabotaged it in the Senate, and he could do the same thing on this as well. Uh, Matt, that's what frequently happens. The controlled opposition puts up a fight, takes the center stage so that no other genuine opponents can surface. And then when the critical time comes, they fold and uh, jump to the other side. So we have a real battle uh, before us on the TPP and then following up on the TTIP. Uh, a lot of people say it's over now. We can't do it. That's, that's uh, Not true. part of the strategy of defeatism. No, uh, it's just begun. Just Even if they get off. this through... Look at all these European countries wanting out of the euro. Look at England demanding to get out. Now Absolutely. that we force Absolutely. a debate, admit it's illegitimate, that's the end of it. 
Right. I, I mean, so this is really a house of cards that they've built. They've made it look very formidable. 